On July 1, 2025, astronomers detected a visitor racing through our solar system at nearly 58 kilometers per second. A rare interstellar object called 3I slash Atlas. But what if this is not just another cosmic rock? Harvard physicist Avi Loeb claims the odds of its bizarre trajectory occurring naturally is just 0.0005% and he now warns 3I slash Atlas could be a hostile alien probe testing our defenses, a theory that splits the scientific world. As the object hurtles toward its October perihelion, humanity faces a countdown. Will 3I slash Atlas confirm alien intelligence or trigger a new kind of panic? The first clues lie in the astonishing story of its discovery. On July 1st, 2025, the Atlas Survey Telescope in Rio Hurtado, Chile, captured a sequence of images that would soon command global attention. The system, designed to scan the sky for moving objects, flagged a faint streak traveling at an astonishing 58 kilometers per second, nearly twice the speed of any previous interstellar visitor. Within hours, the Minor Planet Center in Cambridge, Massachusetts, cross-checked the data and confirmed the object's hyperbolic trajectory. That path, with an eccentricity of 6.1, meant it was not just passing through. It had come from deep interstellar space and would never return. The team behind Atlas, including astronomers Larry Denno and John Tonry, recognized the rarity of what they had found. Only two other interstellar objects, Oumuamua in 2017 and 2 I Borisov in 2019, had ever been observed entering our solar system. But 3 I Atlas immediately stood out. Not only was it moving faster than any comet on record, its orbit sliced through the solar system at a steep retrograde angle nearly aligned with the ecliptic, but running counter to the planet's motion. Archived images revealed that 3I Atlas had been drifting unnoticed since mid-June, already more than 4.5 astronomical units from the Sun. About 670 million kilometers out, its approach would bring it to within 1.36 astronomical units of the Sun by late October a path threading between the orbits of Earth and Mars. For the Atlas team, the discovery was more than a statistical outlier. Here was a cosmic traveler, millions of years in the making, now offering a fleeting window for study before it vanished forever into the dark. Meanwhile, in Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb was examining the data with a very different lens. Loeb, known for challenging orthodox explanations, began running the numbers on 3i slash Atlas's path. His calculations revealed that the odds of this object threading so close to Venus, Mars and Jupiter, within a single solar system pass, stood at just 0.005%. For comparison, that's about 1 in 20,000. The orbital tilt added another layer. 3I slash Atlas slices almost perfectly through the ecliptic, but in reverse, with an inclination of 175.11 degrees. Loeb's analysis put the chance of such precise alignment at only 0.2%. But it was the combination that caught his attention. Three close planetary approaches, a retrograde ecliptic orbit, and a trajectory that would allow for efficient planetary reconnaissance, none of it fit the mold of a random wanderer. Loeb argued that if you wanted to send a probe to observe or even deploy devices to multiple planets, this is the path you'd choose. He pointed to a concept called the Reverse Solar Oberth Maneuver, a theoretical strategy where an object uses the sun's gravity to slow down and remain in the solar system rather than escape. The timing of 3I slash Atlas's perihelion, hidden from Earth's view behind the Sun in late October, seemed almost too convenient for a natural event. 
Loeb didn't stop at numbers. He assigned a probability, on his own scale, that 3i slash Atlas could be technological in origin, rating it a 6 out of 10. While most astronomers called for caution, Loeb's hypothesis forced a new question. Are these patterns the fingerprints of design, or just the universe playing with chance? As the October approach draws near, the debate is no longer just about what 3i slash Atlas is, but whether we're ready to recognize intent, if it's there at all. Hubble's latest images leave little room for ambiguity. At a heliocentric distance of 3.8 astronomical units, 3i slash Atlas is already wrapped in a broad sunward-facing coma, a cloud of gas and dust that is unmistakable to anyone familiar with cometary physics. NASA's Swift Observatory has detected a steady stream of hydroxyl emission, a telltale sign of water ice breaking apart under sunlight. The rate is measured at roughly 40 kilograms per second, a figure that rivals or even surpasses many long-period comets from our own solar system. Spectroscopic surveys reveal a nucleus that is likely smaller than first thought, under 5.6 kilometers across, with an organic-rich surface similar to D-type asteroids. The coma itself contains both silicate dust and carbon-based molecules, matching what is seen in pristine comets that have never been baked by repeated solar passes. Researchers at the European Space Agency and NASA emphasize that every large telescope campaign, Gemini, SOAR, Hubble, finds the same. A natural object, not a manufactured shell. The evidence points to a comet on its first journey near a star, not a disguised probe. But as 3i slash Atlas nears perihelion this October, astronomers are watching for any deviation, a sudden jet, an unexpected maneuver, that could upend even the most robust natural explanations. October 30th, 2025. On that date, 3i slash Atlas will swing behind the sun, reaching perihelion at 1.36 astronomical units, just beyond Earth's orbit, but hidden from every ground-based telescope. For several days, the object will be lost in solar glare, shielded by geometry that even most planned Mars and J WST observations can barely penetrate. This window, brief and blinding, is the only chance for any deliberate maneuver to go unseen, a scenario that fits uncomfortably well with the so-called dark forest hypothesis. In that framework, every civilization is a silent hunter and any signal or movement risks annihilation. The stakes are not just theoretical. If 3i slash Atlas were to change speed or direction, something only possible through non-gravitational acceleration, astronomers would have to confront the possibility of intent. For now, every instrument is primed for the smallest deviation, every data stream combed for a hint of the unexpected. Some scientists warn that a true sign of intelligence might not bring panic, but adoration, echoes of cargo cults, where entire societies once worshipped the arrival of unknown technology. As the countdown to perihelion ticks closer, the world waits. Will 3i slash Atlas pass quietly into the void, or leave behind a signal that forces humanity to redefine its place in the cosmos? On July 1st, 2025, the Atlas survey detected 3i slash Atlas moving at 58 kilometers per second a speed and trajectory confirming its interstellar origin. Harvard physicist Avi Loeb's probability analysis argued that its close approach to Venus, Mars and Jupiter had only a 0.0005% chance under natural conditions, fueling debate over artificial origins. However, Hubble and Swift telescope data from August 2025 revealed the coma water production at 40 kilograms per second, and an organic-rich composition, supporting a natural comet hypothesis. Yet, 
the October 30th, 2025 perihelion remains a decisive test as scientists worldwide prepare to monitor 3i slash atlas for any unexplained acceleration or activity. The true nature of this object, whether comet or probe, cannot be conclusively resolved until after perihelion. As of today, the evidence points to a rare but natural visitor, but the possibility of contact with something far beyond remains open. Humanity now waits, not with certainty, but with vigilance, for the final data that may answer one of the most profound questions in science.